Sahih al Bukhari 261 narrated Asia, the Prophet, and they used to take a bath from a single pot of water and our hands used to go in the pot after each other in turn. Ahi al-Bihari 262 narrated Asia, whenever Allah's messenger, took a bath of Yanaba, he washed his hands first. Sahih al-Bihari 263 narrated Asia, the Prophet, and they used to take a bath from a single pot of water after Yanaba. Sahih al-Bihari 264 narrated Anas bin Malik, the Prophet, and one of his wives used to take a bath from a single pot of water. Shuba added to Anas' statement after the Yanaba. Sahih al Bihari 265 narrated Maimina, I placed water for the bath of Allah's Messenger, and he poured water over his hands and washed them twice or thrice. Then he poured water with his right hand over his left and washed his private parts with his left hand. He rubbed his hand over the earth and rinsed his mouth and washed his nose by putting water in it and blowing it out. After that he washed his face, both forearms and head thrice, and then poured water over his body. He withdrew from that place and washed his feet. Sahih al Bihari 266 narrated Maimina bin Al Harith, I placed water for the bath of Allah's messenger and put a screen. He poured water over his hands and washed them once or twice. The sub narrator added that he did not remember if she had said thrice or not. Then he poured water with his right hand over his left one and washed his private parts. He rubbed his hand over the earth or the wall and washed it. He rinsed his mouth and washed his nose by putting water in it and blowing it out. He washed his face, forearms and head. He poured water over his body and then withdrew from that place and washed his feet. I presented him a piece of cloth, towel, and he pointed with his hand that he does not want it and did not take it. Sahih al-Bihari 267 narrated Muhammad bin al-Muntathir, on the authority of his father that he had asked Isha about the Hadith of Ibn Umar. She said, May Allah be merciful to Abu Abdurrahman. I used to put scent on Allah's messenger, and he used to go round his wives, and in the morning he assumed the Aram, and the fragrance of scent was still coming out from his body. Sahih al Bihari 268 narrated Qatada, Anas bin Malik said, The Prophet used to visit all his wives in Aram, during the day and night, and they were eleven in number. I asked Anas, Had the Prophet the strength for it? Anas replied, We used to say that the Prophet was given the strength of thirty men. Anas had said on the authority of Qatada that Anas had told him about nine wives only, not eleven. Sahih al Bihari 269 narrated Ali, I used to get emotional urethral discharge frequently. Being the son in law of the Prophet, I requested a man to ask him about it. So the man asked the Prophet about it. The Prophet replied, Perform ablution after washing your organ, penis. Sahih al Bihari 270 narrated Muhammad bin al Muntathir, on the authority of his father that he had asked Aisha about the saying of Ibn Umar, that is, he did not like to be a Murim while the smell of scent was still coming from his body. Aisha said, I sent it Allah's messenger, and he went round, had sexual intercourse with all his wives, and in the morning he was Murim after taking a bath.